What's up, Pharmacy Nation? I am Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for listening to the Elective Rotation, a critical care pharmacy podcast. This is episode 365. In this episode, I'll discuss how many micrograms of push-dose norepinephrine is needed to prevent hypotension. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 365. Despite the popularity of push-dose vasopressors in emergency medicine and critical care scenarios, nearly all of the data supporting their use comes from women undergoing elective cesarean delivery under spinal anesthesia. Push-dose vasopressors are used in that setting to prevent the hypotension that can be expected from spinal anesthesia. A group of investigators published a dose-finding study of 42 women in the journal Anesthesia and Analgesia in 2017. The women were all undergoing elective cesarean delivery under spinal anesthesia. Patients received intermittent norepinephrine boluses of either 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8 micrograms every time their systolic blood pressure fell to below 100% of baseline. The authors determined that the minimum dose of norepinephrine to prevent post-spinal hypotension in 90% of women undergoing elective cesarean delivery was 6 micrograms. The dose of phenylephrine IV push used in obstetric patients is 100 to 200 micrograms, and this is the dose that is anecdotally effective in critically ill patients. It's just as reasonable to extrapolate the results of this trial to critically ill patients as it is to use phenylephrine. Therefore, if push-dose norepinephrine is used, the dose of 6 micrograms found in this study serves as a starting point. For a chart explaining vasopressor choice and sepsis, go to my free download area at pharmacyjoe.com slash free. It's download number three on the list. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of the Elective Rotation.